We're here checking things out, seeing if the bus survived the winter. the second countertops here so this is what we have done so far and now we're just talking about um, putting walls in for like shelving and drawers and that's the goal for today it's still pretty cold out not that bad She said, you a youngster with the gun click click and No mama think you must be trippin' From the 876 but a old town living in Loose pan the leaf and the rest is unwritten She said, you a youngster with the gun click click and So we're just about to cut these pieces of wood here for our counter um, This is what we got done so far Wow, wow, wow. Too big. Shit. Shit. I just need like a ruler, a little ruler. I have one. You have one? So what did you do? So, I got this uh, cutter here thingy doohickey uh, all adjusted to the right depth for our, uh, I guess it's like a 20 gauge piece or whatever. So I uh, lined them all up, I had all the boards pressed up against each other just right where I wanted them and then I uh, took a uh, straight angle and I just lined them up across, boom, did my pencil mark, and then, uh, yeah, now I'm uh, cutting up the grooves on both sides. I forgot to do it on the uh, one side of this. And uh, so, as you can see, you got boom, boom. And this thing is awesome because it lines up right there for your mark, and it makes it super easy. So, I got a couple pieces left here. I'll show you what I did. together and to support it a lot better I want to cut up some grooves in here stick these uh, uh, little dowel pieces uh, in there it's down here like so
piece, two and three. So there's gonna be a gap? Right at the end here, there's a little gap. Why? Um, just from uh, the way it was cut. It looks kind of natural, but it's a little gap nonetheless. Mm. While Jordan is out here in the garage working on um, our countertops, I am inside working on kind of our floor plan because um, I keep going back and forth between what I want to do above our counters. Um, Jordan wants cabinets, I want open shelving, I want lights, so just trying to figure that out right now. I will show you, in fact. Bye. So. I was just listening to yes, I said some that. You never know what's gonna podcast. happen. Yourself. This is what I've been working on. So this is the left side of our bus. This is going to be our electrical closet. I know my drawing's not very good, but um, this is gonna be our electrical closet, our wood burning furnace, and then upper counters or cabinets. This is our kitchen counter area. And then this is gonna be our dining table, bar table area. So we have a huge slab of like raw edged wood and some stools and it's going to be held up by uh steel like gal galvanized steel piping and then above it is just going to be some lighting and i was just finishing up the right side so this is our fridge we have some cabinet storage at the top there um so and then we're gonna have upper open shelving here and then um, our sink is gonna be on this side. So we're gonna have under counter cabinet sinks. And then we're also um, going to be bringing our cat Luna with us. So we decided to do the other side of the counter, her um, cat supply area and her litter box area. So we're just gonna board this whole wall up, cut a square so she can come in and out. And that's gonna be her area. And then we just have our pull out couch here and probably some lighting up here. So that's what I'm doing. So I'm just working on the bottom of the bunk bed um, where the mattress is gonna be. We read a couple of horror stories where people's mattresses have um, had like mold inside because there's no moisture. I mean, because there's so much moisture and there's no like air circulation going on. So to combat that, we are going to drill some holes into the bottom of the bed. Um, some people use slats across, slats of wood, but um, we just want it to be super secure. So we're just gonna do these little holes. I think this is two inches. Um, yeah, so I'm just gonna randomly drill some of those holes in there. It's gonna take me all day. I'm weak. So right now I am just oh that should mind. So right now I'm just using these holes as a guideline for my next row to make sure that they're all even. So I'm taking the first hole just roughly finding the center of it marking it and then using that line for my next row of holes and you just want to be sure that you're not hitting any studs and um yeah that's it drills died we have 
four drills and they're all dead so i just have four more holes to do and then i'm done so this is the bottom of the bunk bed and i think what we're gonna do is um put some wooden pieces here wooden strips just so the mattress is like still lifted off so there's even more air circulation um so yeah and then we're gonna start working on another piece that goes right across here do the same thing and then that's the two bunk beds and then jordan's working on wiring mm -hmm.